hands-on with the iOS 13.5.5 beta with Apple News Plus Audio. How's it going folks, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. As I noted, Apple released iOS 13.5.5 to developers and it includes bug fixes and improvements. I'm running it here on my seventh generation iPod Touch as you can see right here. So in this video, I wanna talk about a hidden feature in 13.5.5 and it has to do with Apple News. Now, last month we talked about an upcoming feature that Apple was working on called Apple News Plus Audio. So Apple's goal here is to make their News Plus content even more accessible via audio. You know how people listen to podcasts while they're driving or while they're doing other things? Well, Apple has sort of the same thing in mind for its Apple News Plus content. And to make it more appealing, Apple will reportedly use its own actors to read these long form pieces. Now that being said, publishers are definitely skeptical because they aren't really even seeing that much revenue from Apple News Plus as it is. Now I was able to gain access to the 13.5.5 beta and take the Apple News Plus audio for a test drive. So all you do is launch the Apple News app and you see the tabs at the bottom, one for today, which contains all your news reports. Uh, right there and then you have news plus for your news plus subscription again ten dollars a month and then you have the apple news plus audio tab which is new and then the following tab so the apple news plus audio tab is the new thing you want to pay attention to now as noted you will need to be an apple news plus subscriber and like i said that's ten dollars a month in order to get the full apple news plus audio experience non-paying customers just get snippets or previews of the audio whereas full paying customers get the full audio experience with Apple News Plus. So we'll go ahead and tap the audio tab and you can see sort of the layout of the Apple News Plus audio. Uh, so you have the for you section, you can go ahead and just tap on one of the little tiles and it'll begin playing that article immediately with the voice actor. Uh, and the, as you can see, the interface looks very similar to sort of like the podcast interface. In the stock podcast app, you can play pause, go back 15 seconds, skip to the next article if you want to. Of course, you can adjust volume. Uh, you have a nice little piece of album, or not, not album artwork, but podcast artwork related to the article. You can adjust the speed. So you can turn the speed down or turn it up. And of course, you can output to your HomePod if you want to, or your Apple TV. And then if you tap the ellipsis button, you have a variety of options at your fingertips. So you have some queuing options, play next, play last. You can read the story. So if you tap that, you can actually read the article along with the narration. And then of course you can share, curate, unfollow the channel, block the channel, report a concern. So that's pretty much all the options there. If we tap read story, you can read along as you listen to the article. So I'm listening to this Wired article here and you see the little playing indicator there. If I tap that, it'll pause the playback. If I tap it again, it'll resume the playback. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's kind of nice to be able to have that article quickly linked and just be able to pull that up if you don't want to listen or if you just want to follow along. And what's cool is that you don't have to go to the audio tab to begin listening to Apple News Plus audio. If you're just reading an article in Apple News Plus, you'll see the little listen button at the top of the eligible article and you can just tap that just like that and play now or queue up for next or last. So I'll just play now and listen to the article that way. And you also have your card at the bottom for a quick 15 second skip back or play pause. And then the main screen there at the very top, you have like the Apple News Today feature article. And you can play that and you can see the little artwork for that particular article. And also you can use the drag handles to rearrange the queue so I can put these articles, these audio articles in the specific order that I desire, just like that. And when I open up the now playing interface and I skip, it goes to the first article in the up next queue. Pretty straightforward stuff, right? So again, it looks like Apple News Plus Audio for Apple News Plus subscribers will be available in iOS 13.5.5 once that does launch. And another thing, there will be Siri integration so users can ask to hear the latest news on their iPhone or HomePod and hear the Apple News Plus articles that way. So what do you guys think about Apple News Plus? Does this sound like a feature that it's appealing to you personally? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.